Quiz – Automatic Grading If you want to assess your learners formatively or summatively with questions for which you have specified answers, Moodle's very powerful quiz enables you to do this. We can only look at a few of the features in the quiz in this screencast, but it's worth exploring more yourself and in the Moodle documentation. Quiz allows you to add different types of questions, not just multiple choice, and it also allows you to add, as here, media, images, video, sound files as part of your questions. If we go to our course and see how to add a quiz, the first thing to note is that in the administration block, there is a link, question bank. When a quiz is created in Moodle, you create the questions separately and store them separately so they can be reused by you in a later quiz or by your colleague in the same course in a different quiz. So if you wished, you could start by adding your quiz questions to the question bank here and make the quiz another day. To add a quiz, we turn on the editing by clicking the button top right or the link in the administration block and then in the section where we want the quiz, we click Add an activity or resource. This takes us to Moodle's activity chooser and we scroll down to quiz. Quiz is an activity because the learners are interacting with it. If we click it once, we get information as to how best to use a quiz and then we can click the Add button. Or if we understand about quiz and don't want to read the information, simply click the radio button twice. And then this will bring up the setup screen. The first thing that we will do is create the front page, if you like, of the quiz. The name and the description which quiz learners will see. And if you want the description to appear on the course page, just tick the box display description on course page. There are many different settings in a quiz and it's worth exploring all of them. If there's anything you are not sure of, the question mark help icon gives you extra information. For now, we're just going to click save and display and we now have a blank quiz and what we need to do is to start adding some questions which we can do by clicking the button edit quiz or in the administration block by clicking the link edit quiz. We then see add and if we already have questions we could add a random question to our quiz or a particular question from the question bank which we might have added to earlier, or a colleague might have added to earlier. But we are starting anew from nothing, so we're going to click to add a new question. We are then presented with a list of questions to choose from, and just like with the activity chooser, if we click the button next to a question type, we're presented on the right with some information as to what that question type does. And note that although most of these questions are questions where you provide the answer, it is possible, by choosing Essay, to have learners type in an essay which we would then manually have to grade. Note also there is a description question. This isn't a question type as such, it's just the text editor into which you could add an explanation, some instructions, images, videos or sound. For the purposes of our quiz, I'm just going to add a multiple choice question. We are then sent to the setup for this particular question. We have to give it a name, although the name doesn't appear in the quiz, but it's important because it's how we would recognise it in the question bank in future, particularly if we have a lot of questions ourselves and perhaps shared with colleagues. In the question text, that is where we write the actual question. Then as we scroll down, what we see will depend on the question type, but we'll always be able to add general feedback for any question. And then, in the answers, because this is multiple choice, we add the first possible answer, with the grade. None, we add none if the question is wrong, and 100% if it's right. However, there are, as you see, options in between. We can give specific feedback for each individual answer and if we want to do more than just write simple text, we can use the icons in the text editor. So again we write in our other choices, choose the grade and we continue. And when we click save the changes, 
we have our first quiz question, which we can preview by clicking the magnifying glass icon. So we then go on and continue adding questions to our quiz. Finally, looking at a quiz that's already been made, it's easy to change the order of the questions by dragging them up or down and to add or remove page breaks by clicking on the icon.